back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. So as you guys can see, we're going to be cleaning and organizing my garage today. Um, I've let her get really bad. <laughs> I don't know how, but I did. Um, she has things on this side of the wall for like my DIYs. It's very bad. And then I have all of my garage sale stuff on this side, which has also just been shoved in here. And in the midst of all this, we had two hurricanes. So I just shoved like our emergency supplies in here. And um, yeah, and oh yeah, all the boxes I've been receiving from the furniture I've been trying to get, you know, uh, for updating my home so yeah it's it's a lot and so yeah i need to get this organized because i'm also currently working on like two three projects and i can't find anything and it's driving me crazy so let's go ahead and start getting this cleaned and organized i know it's gonna take me a few days um, but i planned for this whole week i could take my time and just start putting things back where they go it's not gonna be like complete complete organized because i don't have you know new containers and storage areas but i want to know where everything's at for when i need it i can find it because right now if i've showed you clips already you've seen it. it's it's no 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 good so yeah let's go ahead and get started all right everybody so this is my very unorganized garage between the hurricane projects and just being in a hurry i have not put things back where they belong and yeah it was a complete total mess First, we're going to be starting off with my paint side. First, I need to clear a path because as you guys can see, there is so many things just right in front of here that do not belong here. I love keeping boxes for a certain period of time after I purchased something and I think it's been a few months since I bought this light and it's been doing pretty good so I decided to get rid of the box. going to be quite honest I'm not a fan of these type of shelves just because with them being having so many gaps I can't really put like smaller items because they'll fall through but they hold like bigger items like this pretty good so I don't mind and usually on the top shelves I try to put things that I don't use very often like our camping or lighting or anything that I just don't go for very often Thank you. 
So after checking on my paint, I ended up throwing away a few bottles of spray paint. Not completely throw them away because usually what I do is I take them to the toxic place where they dispose of them properly. Um, also like batteries or like any flammable stuff, they get rid of it for me. So I just put them aside for now, that way I could go ahead and drop those off later. But I actually had a, quite a few colors that I was no longer using or needing or they had been there for like at least a year and I know I wasn't gonna use them. I really don't have too many containers for my garage to organize but I do have these containers I purchased at the Dollar Tree a few years ago. I really like to keep my screws and all that organized especially if I purchase like a cabinet or something and I have extras. I like to keep those because I always end up using them on something else. As you guys can see, it's a new day, a new outfit, and a new area to clean. I decided that I was going to take on the tool side, starting from the bottom going up. 
and I was making sure that while I was cleaning and organizing I was also getting rid of things that were broken or you know we didn't use so we could sell them at the yard sale because sometimes we tend to keep stuff that we don't even know we have.
so we are moving on to day three of cleaning the garage um when i was cleaning this corner out i actually found a dead lizard and i was like daughter give me the broom um but um while i was cleaning over here i tried to you know also get rid of things that did not belong in the garage like our garden tools uh, the only thing I did not move back into the shed outside uh, was the generator because it's so heavy. I was actually waiting on my husband to help me with that. Um, now that it's the weekend, he will be definitely helping me move that out of here because it's pretty big and it takes up a lot of space. But other than that, I tried to put away other stuff that didn't belong here and belonged back into the shed. So one thing I like to do is keep my boxes from like Amazon and stuff, especially the bigger ones because when I'm spray painting it helps me, you know, so my floor doesn't get dirty while I'm spray painting in case I'm doing something inside the garage. Um, but yeah, it, it's come in handy because I, I do a lot of projects. When we first moved in, this piece of carpet was left here and I noticed they had cut out a piece for the front of the door. Well, this is the second time I switch it out. I think I switch it out every year. Once I notice it's starting to get too, too dirty, I'll switch the piece out. And since I was deep cleaning already, I was like, you know what? It's time. Let's lay out a new fresh piece of carpet. Once I was done putting away everything where it belonged, or at least where I wanted it for now, um, I decided to go in and vacuum the whole garage. Every single piece of item that was on the ground got vacuumed, especially my equipment for working out because sometimes, you know, it gets full of knowledge, hair, dust, I have found spiders, you know, so I wanted to give everything a good, good, good vacuum so I wouldn't find any surprises. Thank you. 
and just like that we are done i did end up as you can see my generator is still in here and the boxes from all the stuff that i have ordered are also still in here but that's not going to worry me because i know everything has a place inside the home i just have to get that area ready for it to go in there but other than that everything's nice and organized i can find everything now i can work on my projects without worrying what i have and don't have and now i know what i actually need <laughs> so yes thank you so much for watching with me if you stayed this far i hope you guys enjoyed give it a good thumbs up if you enjoyed the video uh don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and i will see you all in my next video bye